What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from Lazy Tech TV and today we are gonna take a look at an application that I've personally been waiting for for quite some time. This is the Facebook Messenger app for Windows 10. Let's take a look. The joke is Windows 10 applications don't always get a lot of love from major companies, but Facebook is one of those companies that try to continue promoting their applications from Windows 8 to Windows 10, and arguably, the Facebook app has a lot of work that needs to be dealt with, but we finally have a dedicated Facebook Messenger app. Now, the big reason why they're pushing this is because Facebook Messenger is going to be so much more than a platform than we could ever think of. Through the Facebook Messenger app, you can send money, you can order Lyft, you can order Ubers, and after the FA conference, we've learned that they're really gonna be pushing the concept of bots, where you can communicate with machine learning engines instead of actually communicating with the person. So let's take a look at the application, at least on Windows 10. Right off the bat, this looks very similar to the experience that you might expect from mobile, like Android or iOS. And this is, again, very familiar when I've used Facebook Messenger on a tablet in landscape mode. Right on the left side, you have your, all your existing conversations and it shows the last message that was either sent or received. And then on the right side, you have the larger form or rather the larger field of the existing conversation, right? So right here, we're talking with my buddy Radford Castro, who incidentally is the founder of Lazy Tech Guys, now Lazy Tech TV. What's really cool is just like you would expect, whatever platform that you're on, what's going on here is going to be mirrored and you can pull it up on your phone and you can continue the conversation when you leave the computer. And that's one thing I personally want the communication of messages to be ubiquitous. So no matter what kind of device that I pick up, I can still continue the conversation. Just like you can on the mobile application, you can type in messages like you would want to type in messages. So here, I just type in yep. And then the fun thing is too, you can actually add in photographs that are already downloaded or at least that you can grab from your Google Drive or OneDrive folders right from your computer or you have little stickers or not emojis, but I guess these would be some of the stickers that you can get also on uh, Facebook Messenger, on the phone, as well as on the website. And you can go into the plus sign here and get some more stickers, and they're all free. I don't think I've ever paid for a sticker, but uh, one of my favorite series is the Star Wars sticker, so we'll just put a Leia right here, just for the heck of it. And then you have your GIF keyboard. Now, with the GIF keyboard, you don't have to install anything else. It's already pre-installed. I mean, I guess arguably you could go to Giphy or do something else, but it just makes it so much easier to have it all within application. So I can choose one of the more trending GIFs that are uh, happening right now, like this sloth from Zootopia. I still have to see that movie. And then finally, the last two things, at least down here at the bottom right-hand corner, you can speak your message, just like you can on mobile, and you can inflate the the, uh, the thumbs up to pretty much as large as it allows you to. So there you go. Uh, going back to the left hand side down here at the bottom, you got recent, you have all your people, and then your settings. You can actually switch your account. So if you have multiple Facebook accounts, it allows you to go back and forth between them. You can turn off notifications if it gets too much, and then specify um, any kind of problems and you know look at your terms and media and things of that nature. So I, it, it's still bare bones at first glance, but for what it is, it's very functional. I mean, this means I no longer have to open up Facebook on my computer just to be able to have this sort of communication. So one might go back and say, why should I use Facebook? Why don't I use like WhatsApp or Hangouts or something like that? Well, that's great. Fine. Use Hangouts. But if you're on a mobile platform like Windows Phone, there's no Hangout application for Windows Phone. And one of the number one reasons why I personally choose Facebook Messenger over the others is encryption. Encryption means a big deal to me. In fact, I got my father to sign up for Facebook just so I could message him because I don't want to use SMS. 
We know how that can be. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you're on Windows 10 and you use Facebook Messenger, I highly recommend you download it, try it out. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not all thrills and chills and spills and everything, but it's a functional application. It works well, it doesn't bog down the computer. And just like you might expect from Windows 10, you can resize it so you could have it on one side and so you could have another application on another side so you can do multiple things at the same time. So that's it for me right now. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, leave that stuff in the section below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Wait.